In this video, we're going to look at finding areas under the standard normal curve using the standard normal table. And there are a couple of different types of tables that we commonly run into. This video looks at tables that give the area to the left, in other words, things that look like this. Another common one is a table that gives the area between zero and the Z value you look up, but I look at that in another video and won't be looking at that here. Suppose that Z is a random variable with a standard normal distribution, and we want to know the probability that Z takes on a value less than 1.43. First of all, note that this is exactly the same as if we were to say the probability that Z is less than or equal to 1.43, because the probability that Z is equal to 1.43 is zero. Z is a continuous random variable, and for continuous random variables, the probability they're exactly equal to any value is zero. So whether I say less than or less than or equal to, we'd get the same answer. Now we draw our standard normal curve, which looks something like this, little bell-shaped, and it has zero in the middle. It is symmetric about zero, and the area under the entire curve is equal to one. 1.43 is over here somewhere, and we get probabilities from areas under the curve. The probability that Z is less than 1.43 is simply the area under the curve to the left of 1.43. To find that area requires calculus and integration and this sort of thing, but it needs to be done numerically, and the results have been summarized in a table. We can do this on a computer, or we can look it up in our table. This particular type of table gives the area to the left, the area to the left under the curve. And there are two pages to the table, one with negative values of Z and the other one with positive values of Z. And what we wanted to find, remember, was the area to the left of 1.43. That's what we want to find, and that is precisely what this table gives us if we look at that picture. And so if we go down here, we find 1.4. This is the first decimal place of Z given there, and then the second decimal place is given across the top. So 1.43, we would find where this column intersects with that row, and we would find that that is 0.9236. In other words, this area is 0.9236. And that is precisely what we were trying to find here. So this 0 0.9236, that is the probability that Z is less than 1.43. What is the probability Z is greater than 1.43? Well, let's draw that picture again. Here's 0, here's 1.43, and we found that this thing is 0.9236. The area under the entire curve is equal to 1, and so this area that we need is 1 minus 0.9236, which is, of course, equal to 0 0.0764. Now suppose we wanted to find a probability for a negative value of Z. Suppose we wanted to find the probability that Z is less than minus 1.43. Suppose we wanted that. Let's draw that out. Here's our standard normal curve. Here's zero. Minus 1.43 is over here somewhere, and I want to find that area. And we can just go to our table and find that. So we go to the page of our table that has the negative values of Z. We find the negative 1.4 here. We find the 0 0.3 here, and they meet up at 0 0.0764. So that's our answer. This is 0 0.0764. Wait a minute, we just found this over here. We didn't have to go through all of that. We could have taken a bit of a shortcut because the standard normal distribution is symmetric about zero. The left and right sides are mirror images. So the area to the right of 1.43 is exactly equal to the area to the left of minus 1.43. What is the probability that Z lies between minus 1.28 and 0.72? Let's draw a picture. Here's zero in the middle. Minus 1.28 is over here somewhere. And 0.72 is around there. And we need the area in between these two values. That is the probability. And so how are we going to do this? Well, our table gives us the area to the left. So if I look up... 
0.72. If I look up a 0.72 here, I'm going to get this entire area to the left. That's not what I need because I need to take off this little bit here. I need to remove that bit because I do not want it. So I'm going to subtract off the area to the left of minus 1.28. This thing. And we can get both these areas from the table. If I look up 0.72, I find a value of 0.7642. And if I go to the other side to find the negative values, here's minus 1.2 and here's 0 0.08. So where do they intersect? Down here at 0 0.1003. So I'm going to go back now and finish off this problem. We found in the table that this area is 0 0.7642. We found in the table that this area was 0 0.1003. We subtract those two, we get 0 0.6639, and that is our answer. Now that is how you find areas under your standard normal distribution using the standard normal table. Another type of question is when we have a given area, let's say we know the area out here is uh, 0.74, and we want to find the z value here that makes that happen, the z value with a specific area to the left of 0.74. Now you might be able to figure that out on your own, but if not, I do have a separate video for that.